Well, thank you. We gotta go and find some marking paint. Yeah, I want you to feign interest. Because we're doing your fence, making you a fence for a day pen. Yeah, that's for you. All for you, Maggie. Another beautiful day in Paraguay. Eh? That's not really where we are, but it sounds good when you say it. it sounds funny. I'm laughing. I'm laughing at all my jokes. Hey, Max. Max lives here. I don't think we've got much of that paint left. We might not be able to be choosy. We'd be lucky if we've got any of that paint left that still goes. Let's go have a look. Okay. As you've seen, we've, uh, we've done some more on the gate. We've actually got a gate that swings on there now. We've welded these hinges on with a little funky offset so we can swing this right back and it doesn't bind up anywhere. So uh, that was good. And it's still swing around and shut to there. So that's all good. But we've um, got a little top bar on there now. Hold it on, little cap on there. The other one's cut to length now. The other bit's gonna go down. There'll be another little bar on the other part of the fence up there. Up there, yeah, yeah. Past all the long grass. But I've decided to lift this wire up here rather than having it down on the ground there. But, oh, but then the dog will get under it, you say. That's what you're saying. All right, I, get, I get what you're saying there. Uh, I'll just get a bigger dog. No, Maggie's big enough, it's all right. Um, no, I'm gonna continue that, that concrete along to about, maybe about here. A couple of marks I made in the ground there. A um, little bit of overkill, but just with the grade of the, the ground here, I think I wanna keep that, build it up to that sort of level anyway, and that's something to put the concrete up against and uh, put the dirt up against, and, and also, um, it stops the weeds growing. You know, you don't have to whiver snip so much and all that sort of thing. I'm not going to do it all the way along because concreting's hard enough, you know. Uh, but this is this is a little bit overkill, you know. But I've got enough height. Pretty sure I've got enough height. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of changing out this wire too because uh, I was here the other night and I heard this this noise. And I saw this thing and I wasn't sure what it was. I thought, well, it was running along here, went in behind the Willet Run Barbecue, six banger, you know. Uh, and then I got the torch, I come back, and it was on the other side of the fence. And it just appeared on the other side of the fence. And I realized it's just the right size to fit straight through. And what it was, I wasn't sure if it was a little baby rock wallaby, little baby one, or if it was a numbat. And I've decided by the way that it walks and everything that it was a numbat. And numbats, yeah, sure they're cute. Maybe they're cute. Are they a big rat? Are they a little baby uh, skippy? You know, and they're all from the same family. You know, big kangaroos and all that. They're just ba basically rats. You know, they're all from the same family. So we don't want them. We don't want them. No, as cute as they might be. Uh, numbats are really bad for... Um, uh, ticks and they bring the ticks and the dogs get the ticks and the dogs die so they a lot of, a lot of numbats die from paralysis ticks so uh, so I decided oh, I think this type of fence is, is good for keeping dogs out which is what I initially made it for to keep the dingoes out and all that sort of thing you know coming around at night time and whatever um, I thought I might change this for a, um, a chain link fence just top and bottom wire. Um, not going to run any more. I'm not going to run a top rail along here, but there will be one along there just because it looks cool and it supports the other post up there, which is going to be a shade sail post. Um, I just need to make sure that I can that it's 1200 because this is what this this wire is 1200. And you can get you can get a 1200. Yeah. Yeah, 1200. So I could work 12, 1200 would work. 1200 would work. Have I got 1200 up the other end here? I reckon this thing will run. It just needs gas. Alright. 
should need to have to redo a rebe. Uh, <laughs> now I get it. Uh, I shouldn't need to have to do a carby rebuild. So yeah, no, we've got 1,200 here. Yeah, no, um, we've got 1,200 here just. So I can put a wire just under that. Just under that. Yeah. So I got to make sure I've got 1,200 up there as well. Which I think I have. Yeah, I've got plenty. And then I've got to make sure I keep 1,200 here because I'm, you know. Yeah, I'm actually going to lift this, this gate up to match that one, even though it's I got it as low as I can here so that to stop anything coming in and out. Um, that was my, you know, that's the practical part of me. But then I'm looking at the aesthetics. And I think, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it that they don't, they're not even. And I could easily make it even. And I can just hang something off the bottom. Uh, a little extension off the bottom of the gate just to match the contour of the ground. So first thing what we're going to do is, is actually lift this up in case that has any effect on what we do with the height of this hole. And then I'm going to put the other bar in here, which I had stashed away somewhere. Where is it? It's there somewhere. Anyway. Uh, so I'll cut a little couple of notches out there and I'll weld that in, uh, trying not to create any bushfires. And um, so once that's done, I might even weld this one. Yeah, I might even weld that one. It's a bit ugly, that. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I might, I might be able to pull that in. If I put a tack there... Might be able to pull that in with a, some sort of clamp or a big hammer. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I might be able to do something with like that. I'll get that welded on there and, and a little touch of paint on there. Um, so I guess if we've got, if we're going to make the change to the different wire, the chain link wire. Uh, the only purpose this fence is serving right now is to give us a straight line for where this concrete's going. So I'll mark those, 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 um, I'll mark where we're going to stop this little concrete. I'm going to make some little bits of wood to go here. I'll put a couple of little, um, I've got a string line there. Uh, so let's mark that up. Then technically this fence can come down because I've basically made sure that we've got enough for a chain link fence. Oh, look at all that work done for nothing. But uh, anyway, I was going to change this anyway. I was going to actually put some uh, little wind up, wind up. I went and bought some the other day. Little wind up um, tensioners, uh, just so I could retension it as time goes on. Because um, this, this works fine for pulling it up. Um, I probably could have, I was saying I probably could have, um, before DJI's voice control rudely interrupted me, I, I probably could have uh, pulled that up tighter with the, um, with the old ratchet strap and that there. Uh, I had that pulling up on that bit of rope, pulling that tighter. I could have had another bite at it and, and pulled it tighter again, tension it tighter again before I tied this up. but. It was night time, you know, excuses. They sound lame, don't they? But I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have, I, you know, I just wanted to get it done. And I'm going to have to do it again. But as it turns out, I'm going to replace the wire anyway. I'll use this for something else. Uh, I'll use this for keeping some gates in somewhere. Let's get some gates. We had gates. The wild dogs got them. But uh, next time we'll have some fencing. We won't have them tethered up. And uh, it won't be so much fun for the wild dogs. Yeah, all right, okay, so just just, just hang for, uh, I'll, I'm gonna get some stuff, and uh, let's, um, what are we gonna do first? We'll mark this out first, all right.
show you a friend. He's cute. <laughs> No, I don't know. Yeah, look at this guy. It's a concrete day. No one's here to help. Well, Maggie's here. Uh, Daddy just bought me a friend to help me with my concreting. Oh my god. Oh. It was funny for a minute, wasn't it, Maggie? There's the new gloves, I've got to wear them in. I've got to wear them in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. 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 Well, I've got to run them in, haven't I? I've got to run them in. Ah. Ah. Okay. Good enough. You had a fill. battery and flat and you're in the sun so it probably wasn't that good so let's uh let's go and bash this in you know some of the best funniest marketing companies in the world are from new zealand i mean you only have to get on a plane and it happens to be an in new zealand uh flight and uh you know even even just the in pre-flight you know instructions they're usually quite funny they uh they uh they win a few awards i think yeah it could be so cheesy oh yeah different ones anyway <laughs> Back in the day when seat belts came in in cars, it was actually uh, you can get bumper stickers for this. If you love your kids, belt them in. Wrong message, probably, but it was sort of funny. You only get away with it in New Zealand. <laughs> uh, belt them in, bro. <laughs> Come and give me some encouragement. Like my purpose here has some meaning. Maggie, hey, come on, hanging out here. Doing concreting and I'm all by myself. Of course. The way it is. I get it. Gotta take someone else for a ride in, in your bush basher. You didn't come. more. Okay. I needed that. Yep. Two more broken ones over there in the in the good ones pile. Let's get some more. Make things like they used to. These things got a shitload more power, eh? <laughs> anyway. What do you want, Maggie? You're just here for a pet, aren't you? I know. Come on then, come on, come on. Oh. Just because I've got new gloves on, they don't stink. Is that what it is? Maybe you stink. Are you trying to put your stink under my glove? 
that ain't gonna pattern any other dogs. <laughs> cheeky little shit. You cheeky little shit. I got some jobs to do here. Come on, let, give, let me know. Are you helping? Yeah, helping on concreting day. Bullshit. <laughs> Find a 1.5. Oh, we might need that. I just want to kind of look, see what we can find. Put on the junk pile. Hey, yeah, don't throw anything away. You might want to use it one day. When the apocalypse comes. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be right. ground and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, morally. <laughs> uh. Come on. What do we got here? That's what we want, isn't it? Is that 1.5? I bet you it's 1.4. I called it, I called it. Uh, what else we got? That's too long. Not too much of a tight ass to want to cut me. What have we got here? Oh yeah. Twisted to hell. One point eight. Bet you that that one there is going to ride again. It's just found a new purpose in life. This one here. Well, I knew a girl attack a man. They love those curves. She was plenty, and I loved the plant of strings of the morning sun. She was a sweet angel from Japan. I was happy to be her man, and I strummed Takamani all through the day. Oh, Takamani, you sure are plenty. Them tones of singing. I'm in love with you, girl, Takamani. Takamani. I'll let my harmonica do my bidding for you. Here we go. Take my knee, you're plenty when I strum you. Okay, I'm happy enough with it. Yeah, this is always the problem. You gotta stand around and look at it. Does it look straight from where you are? Get a little bit of a bow there or not, but that's okay. I'm happy with it. Find a couple of bits of seal. Lay them in here. And, uh,. Get myself psyched up to doing four or five loads of, um, of concrete one day. Then I can do the fence. I gotta get myself some more wire. Looks like I need 20 meters. Yeah, we can get them in 20 meter rolls. Nice time of day out here. Yeah. Right. Say good night, everyone. Night, no Jim Bob. Yeah. Hey, Jim Bob. Yeah. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you. Uh, I think I just came up with a name for me for me bush basher. I've had this bush basher here for a long time. It's been uh, a faithful unit. But every time I drive through the long grass, 
gets itself a nice little moustache. So I think I might just call him Magnum P.I. Or Magnum, we'll go Magnum. Should have gloves on for this. There we go. Magnum. Yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> nice. Magnum. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I always find that quite funny. <laughs> You're not watching, are you? <laughs> You're not. Good night, Jim. Bye. Right. Made some boxing. Uh, I did a little fence off camera, a little gate off camera, gate swing. Hey, Mags. Say good night to everyone. Say good night. Okay, is that your trick? Okay, all right. We're gonna go and watch some pudding now, eh? Pudding's fab shop. Let's watch the Travel Law series. He's got the front clip welded on now. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Let's see that, that the body get taken off. I'm sure that's what's gonna happen next. Hey, it's all good fun. All right, everyone. Ha, ha, ha.